Hi, I'm Michelle Edwards with Ferro Technologies, and today we're going to learn more about the Vantage Tracker and the Ion Tracker. I'll be your personal tour guide as we talk more in depth about the functionality of the trackers, best practices, and how you're going to be using it in your measurement environment. In this video, we're going to show you some of the standard tools that come with your target tooling kit. I'll also talk about some of the ways you might use these tools in different applications as you're measuring within your environment. The target tooling kit itself comes in a case and has many accessories to allow you to get to items that maybe you can't measure directly with the 1.5 inch ball. So as we look at these different items, the first one we're going to look at are our uh, black repeatability pucks. These pucks are used with the 1.5 inch SMR and they are an inch and 125 in diameter. And generally these are used uh, to be placed around your environment, usually hot glued down in your environment, uh, in order to have a repeatable place for your 1.5 inch SMR to nest. Now these repeatability targets are used in move device position uh, or they're used for uh, checking your environment for stability. So if we measure a point with the 1.5 inch SMR in this puck location, and then we check this periodically throughout our measurement session, maybe our session is lasting an hour or more, uh, then we would want to come back and check this to make sure that our setup hasn't moved or drifted over time. So these are the black pucks for uh, known locations, commonly called puck points within your measurement session. You have a series of these pucks available within the kit. Now we also have pin nest adapters as well. And there are a couple of different styles of pin nest adapters. And this allows us to measure items like circles uh, or boreholes in your part. It allows you to touch the part in two surfaces and capture uh, diameters. So if we place the 1.5 inch SMR inside the pin nest. We can place it on our part and take measurements by resting the pin and the lower surface of the nest against both surfaces of our part. Now the pin nest itself needs to be set in the software as well, just like any adapter that you use. As you switch between SMR sizes, you need to change those SMR sizes in the software. As you add adapters to your measurement session, you need to change those as well. Etched onto the surface of each of your adapters are the sizes that should be entered or selected from your drop-down list of commonly used targets. This particular pin nest is the one inch pin nest with quarter inch shank and it's etched right onto the surface of it. And if you look, that means that it is a one inch offset with the SMR inside there's a one inch offset from the center of the SMR to the base here. And the quarter inch is referring to the offset of diameter for the pin. This one even has a notch carved into it to allow greater angle of approach for the laser beam itself as you're measuring. So this is the quarter inch shank with one offset pin nest. We have another one that is very similar, only the size of the shank is different. This one is an eighth inch diameter shank, still has the notch, and still used for the 1.5 inch SMR. Another adapter we have, uh, aside from the pin nest, are the edge nest. Now this edge nest, again, is etched right onto the nest the SMR size that should be used with it, the 1.5 inch, and one inch being the offset once the SMR is in the nest from the center of the SMR to the surface that would touch your measurement location. 
Now an edge nest is usually used if you need to ride along a corner or an edge on your part. So in this case, if we wanted to capture this edge, we could rest the edge nest here with the SMR inside the edge nest and measure in a line on our part. So this is the edge nest. We have another nest here, another pin nest, that has a smaller outside diameter, allowing you to get into tighter spaces or closer to maybe offset edges as well. And this particular edge nest is listed for the 1.5 inch SMR. And it is still a one inch distance between the center and the measurement surface and a quarter inch shank. The main difference between this pin nest and our one inch with quarter inch offset here is just the outside diameter. Now this outside diameter is uh, not listed in our adapter settings. It's just allowing us ease of use differences. So the offset in the software for this pin nest and this pin nest would be identical. One more nest that we have is one with a beveled edge. So this nest holds your SMR and the edges of this, it's a flat nest with no pin, but it has beveled edges allowing you to measure up against surfaces that maybe have a filleted edge uh, and you want to get closer to the edge of the surface. So this nest is for those needs. And again, it's got a notched cutout allowing for a larger angle of approach from the laser beam. Also in your target tooling kit is a handle for your half inch SMR. Now this handle allows you to use the half inch SMR more easily because it is such a small SMR, uh, but it doesn't require any adapter offset within the software. If we grab the half inch SMR right here, you'll see that it's got a magnet on it. And now we can hold that more easily and measure on our surface without having our hands get in the way or risk dropping uh, the half inch SMR. So this allows us greater control. The SMR can pivot on the end of this at any time and we do not need to add an adapter when using this for measurement because the half inch SMR is touching the surface directly so we just need to set the SMR size to half inch with no adapter selected. We have a hidden point bar, actually two of them, in the target tooling kit as well. And these hidden point bars come in different lengths based on the uh, amount of material you have between you and the line of sight of your tracker. And they're used to capture points that may be obstructed to you with using just the 1.5 inch SMR by itself. The way the hidden point bar works is with adapters. And we have two adapters that go on the end. One is a point adapter. Right here. And the other is a cone adapter or a conical adapter. And this adapter will sit on top of a tooling ball, standard tooling ball, and allow you to capture the center of that tooling ball. The point adapter allows you to pick a, uh, maybe a monument point or an etched point on your part and capture it. So how does that work? Well, you take your hidden surface, or I'm sorry, your hidden point bar, and there are small uh, threads here that allow you to put that on there. So you thread whichever adapter you're looking for, whether it's the point adapter or the conical adapter to measure tooling balls. And on the other end, you're going to place a pin nest. So we can use any of our uh, quarter inch shank pin nests 
and place them on the bar. Now you are going to want them to sit flush. So there's a small set screw here and an Allen key. We can adjust this. so that that sits flush and then tighten it down. And then we would place the SMR here in order to measure with it. Now if we're concerned about the offset, we have the offsets written on each of these items that we can type into the software. But we can also uh, use the measure sphere command and measure several points sweeping a sphere with this and the center point of that sphere will be where this point touched. So this is our hidden point bar. To measure a hidden point, I'm going to give you an example of that. I'm going to go to the measure sphere command. I'm going to make sure my 1.5 inch ball is set. And I'm going to uh, pick a point that's notched right here into this plate and I'm going to sweep a sphere with it. So if I capture the beam here with the laser tracker, rest the point here, then I can take points Adjust the angle if you need to. And then, and the command. And we've just captured a sphere. Now the center point of the point we measured, taking points all at ball center, will be this point that we etched right here. And if we want to verify that within the software, we can ask the tracker to aim at that point. We'll do that right now. And you can see that the laser beam coincides right with the center of the sphere that we measured, giving us this etched point directly. So that's one application of our hidden point bar and how it would be used in measurement. The last accessory that we have within the case that we need to talk about is this. And this uh, we like to refer to as the broomstick adapter. And that is because you can stick a wooden pole on the end of this. And similar to what we talked about with the handle for the half inch SMR, this is used with your 1.5 inch SMR to allow you to get extended reach to places that you might not be able to get to. So you can imagine this would just give us a handle of maybe uh, three or four feet to allow us to touch different surfaces that are farther away from us. We would be touching those surfaces with the surface of the SMR itself, so no adapter is needed to be set in the software, just the 1.5 inch SMR for measurement. So this video has shown you some of the accessories available to you in the Target Tooling Kit, and we've talked about how you would measure with these items and certain applications for them.